Okay, there's one more thing here. Hey, I want to just go uh, talk a bit about who will, will see us, or who, uh, forget who will see us, who sees us. The two of us together have started this project. There's a lot of people out there who know very well that this is a, a reasonable, a good, honorable project to go up against child prostitution. Right. Who are going to be our friends in this? Well, clearly not, unfortunately. The people amongst whom we've been working, the indigenous people here, they have this just child prostitution. But then the same people who go, oh, my, my family tells me I come not allowed to say anything about it. <laughs> the family's probably involved in that child prostitution, I imagine, you know. They have corrupted us very, very, very badly. You know. Unfortunately, it's the, you know, the white people of the world have, you know, created a lot of corruption through this religion that they corrupted, you know, uh, Christianity. But they were, as I said, the Mennonites uh, have proved to be bastions of love, and that is, that is what is going to ultimately, you know, allow for Christianity itself to be saved. But I want to talk about those people who already know everything. You know, they're like the lady at the mariage I met, who's, who came or, or he came to visit me afterwards. Oh, you're very intelligent. Let me talk to you. And so are the old gods rising? And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, here is a person who's already convinced that she has been a good person all her life. Remember that one thing, dudes. If you hear somebody say, I'm a good person, if you hear somebody say, oh, I know, I, I am a, <coughs> a person who uh, does all the right things, you know there's something wrong here. I have never called myself a good person. I call myself a son of a bitch, a professional son of a bitch. But I have heard other people say, you're a good person, and I have taken that as a compliment. But I can't say that about myself. When I run into people say, oh, look how good I am at this, like the, your, your friend who has desecrated the name of the, you know, the, the Hindu culture as well. This yoga friend of yours who said, oh, I gave my boyfriend syphilis, let's celebrate. Oh, that person's name, I don't even want to pronounce his name because it is ugly for, to, to have that happen, Why, what, what he has done. He has not only sullied himself, he sullied people around him. And I hope nobody ever hears a word he says again. But I also want to talk about another friend of yours. But of course, I have friends like this as well. But I'm just using your friends as examples because, you know, these are like Nate Lawson is a classic example, right? But the d d destroyer, no, the DET -D destroyer, an individual, a person who is an indigenous person, who is a DET -D destroyer. And I said to Justin, look, look. Look, all these people who already know, they are going to be our worst enemy for the longest time because they already know. They think they know more than I do. Well, I invite you to come and talk about it. Let's see if that's the case or not. Well, I just wanted to say this about the people who already know. You're not going to be by my side. It's the people who need help who will come and who will realize that I am working with them. I am their spokesperson, and I will make sure their lives get better. You people who already know, you're welcome to allow your life to expire and come back. You might have a more welcoming environment then. Thank you.